Coach, a shutout for the Bulldogs here this evening against the Minnesota State Mavericks. Can you just give us your thoughts of the overall play this evening? Yeah, I was really happy, obviously, with the play of our team from start to finish. I, there's a few things there. I thought we took too many penalties, and we're going to have to address that. Um, they've got too good a power play for us to, to be on it that long and that many times. Um, but the one thing I'm really um, happy with was the, the, it was two five-on-three kills that were extended, and then one of them was five-on-three with the goalie pulled, so it was a six-on-three, and I thought our guys did a, a really superb job of, of killing that off. Obviously, Darren Smith had a whale of a game, and on the five-on-threes, he had to come up big a number of times, but um, he, he was on his game. He played really well. And then, uh, but I, and I thought though from start to finish, outside of the penalties, our team was full marks for the win tonight. It seems like over the past few years in the WCHA, the Minnesota State Mavericks have kind of been a thorn in the Bulldogs' side. Did you see this coming along with this season, with these players getting this win here tonight? Well, Marina, you're right. They, they have been, a, but they're they've been a thorn in a lot of team sides. They're just a really good team. But I think our record now, as of late against them, might be six and three in the last nine. So. Um, we've been a bit of a thorn to them as well, and that's good. And, and, uh, you know, I, the, the league's a really good league, but the, the, the two teams that have consistently uh, battled uh, at the end of the year for the, the WCHA championship has been us in Minnesota State, so we're pretty familiar with each other, and we're very familiar with playing against them in, in really big games. And um, while tonight's can't be labeled a really big game, but I think, uh, you, you, you know, there's a bit of a rivalry that's starting to develop between the two teams, and that's how it is good for our conference. Coach, Dennis Steele with Bulldog Sports Radio. With uh, Jerry's 100th goal this evening, what can you say about his career this far? Well, he's he's really a good player, and, and if you think he, he does a lot of uh, penalty killing for us, too. He's really good defensively. I think uh, a lot of times guys that uh, uh, have the offensive numbers that he has a lot of times are, are maybe a little bit deficient in their own end, or they cheat a little bit to get the points, but, but uh, Jerry's not like that at all. He's, he plays equally as hard in their own end of the rink, um, and, and uh, he's also he's a highly competitive kid, and I think that's a bit contagious as well. So he's been a, a treat to have on the team, and uh, you know we'll enjoy him for the rest of the year, and it'll be great to have him back for one more, but uh, we won't. Now being the month of December, from the beginning of the season, the Bulldog team seemed to get a little bit of trouble starting, finding the back of the net, and here we are in December. What can you just talk about the transition from the beginning of the season to the midway point today? You know, in the beginning, we, we kind of, part of it I, uh, was myself, uh, we, we inserted four freshman defensemen, and we also had two defensemen, our sophomores, and Riker and um, Zach Tierney. And they didn't play a lot of minutes last year. So we'd start the year, and, and uh, I think instead of starting from basics, we, we kind of we try to pick up where we left off last year uh, with <coughs> systems and some different things. And we, and I think we got ahead of ourselves as coaches, and then we kind of got back to some more basics. Um, I thought earlier in the year, too, the, the goaltending struggled a bit. It wasn't as good as what, certainly what we've appreciated here about the last 10 games. Um, and, and so now we're, we're a team that appears to be a little bit more in sync right now, and, and that's been good. Now, you know, the challenge for us is can we, can we have a, you can't guarantee an equal outcome tomorrow night, certainly not against Minnesota State, but can we, can we get the same game? And if we do, uh, and that'll be a success, and that's that's the goal. Is, is we'll let's roll off the same game tomorrow night. All right, coach. Thank you so much for your thoughts. Thank you, Jerry. Your 100th college career point as a Fair State Bulldog. Can you just talk a little about how that feels? Uh, it feels really good. Obviously, um, it's been it took me four years, um, but I got to give credit to my line mates and, and my teammates to you know, give me the puck and, and to help me out when I'm down and stuff like that. So uh, it's just not me, but it feels good. <clears throat> a shutout tonight for the Bulldogs. How does it feel being out there with Darren, his play progressing, now almost being a brick wall out there tonight? How does that project on you guys out on the ice? Uh, it helps a lot. When you have trust in your goalie, um, I feel like the team plays a lot better. And he did struggle in the beginning of the season, but it seems like he, he has his mojo back, and um, if he keeps playing like that, we'll win a lot more games. Going in tomorrow night, what are you guys expecting from the Minnesota Mavericks? It seems like it got a little chippy out there toward the end. 
Yeah, um, they're definitely going to come out using the body. Uh, they always do. Uh, they got some tough guys, so um, it's going to be a battle tomorrow. And it's hard to win two games in college hockey. So if we play like we did tonight, and maybe even better, um, I think we'll, we'll get the done tomorrow. All right, Jerry, thanks so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Corey, you were the first on the board for the Bulldogs tonight. Can you just walk us through that goal? Yeah. Um, you know, we got it deep, which uh, is our game plan this weekend. We know we have to grind this team down low. And uh, Worms and Drill battled hard and uh, ended up getting the puck to me in the slot. And I kind of just threw it on net and ended up going in. But those guys worked really hard down low. It was a good play. There's been a few line changes throughout the year, and now you're on the first line tonight. Can you just talk about the chemistry you've been finding throughout the season with different line mates? Yeah, it's been uh, different uh, for most part, like almost every game. But um, it's it's just different, uh, adjusting to different players and learning how they play. But uh, I think we kind of adjust well. A lot of the guys um, know how each other play, regardless of if they're on the same line or not. And uh, you just kind of roll with that. And, uh, Whatever coach puts the lines, as you know, uh, we just got to come out hard and just play as a team. That last few minutes of the third period, it was a six on three uh, power play for the Minnesota Mavericks. Can you just talk about the pressure being out there and that penalty kill? Yeah, um, th there's pressure. Um, I know uh, we have a really solid goaltender in the back, so you know, we try and block as many shots as you can, but you know, if they get through, Smitty, uh, Smitty or Cappy will stop that puck. Uh, we have faith in them. and. It's penalty kills, goalie out. That's how you focus on it, and you just kind of have to stay in shot lanes and try and get in front of shots and get pucks out of the zone. And I think we did a pretty good job as a unit, as a goal, as our goalie, and uh, I think we did pretty well. All right, Corey, thank you so much. Thank you.